So it's called the game of time. We've already played Simon Says for most of you. This is the game of time. The game of time works like this. I have my toes touching, my heels touching. You can just watch for a moment. I bend my knees, these are the rules, and I bring my arms out. And then I'm gonna call that, make believe there's a clock on the floor. So my clock, I've got 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. It goes all the way around back to 12. That's my clock. So if I was you, and I'm standing now, I'm, I'm in your room, your clock's gonna look like this. You got 12 in front of you, one, two, three o'clock on your right, six o'clock behind you, et cetera, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, right? So the clock is on the floor, and we're gonna bend our knees, excuse my back, I'll turn around in a moment, but this is how the game works. I'm feeling tall, proud, my knees are bent, my arms are here for balance, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 12 o'clock. You're gonna take either one of your legs, bring it out to 12, and then bring it back. If I say three o'clock, you're gonna bring your right leg to three, and then back. If I say six o'clock, you can bring either leg you want, back and here, and then back to where you are. And if I say nine o'clock, you go to the left and here. And if you can, keep your knees bent. If you can't, that's okay. But we wanna make sure that the torso from here all the way up is tall and proud and use your arms. And as usual, especially for the new people, there is a $25,000 prize for whoever wins the game. Um, the checks do get cut in the year 2027, so you may have to wait a little bit, but I just want you to be motivated. Everyone seems to be motivated financially with all this inflation, it's crazy. Don't get me started. Okay, so here, the game of time. So let's start. I'm going to do just like Ginger Rogers. I'm gonna to have to do it backwards facing you guys, right? You thought Gene Kelly was good? She had to dance backwards on high heels, crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna be the Ginger Rogers. I'll be mirror image to you. So we could start with our arms apart, knees are bent. If you can't bend your knees, do the best you can, and you're looking straight ahead. So when I say, for example, 12 o'clock, you're gonna put your one foot forward and then back to the starting point. If I said six o'clock, you're gonna put one foot behind you and then back to the starting point. If I said three o'clock, one foot to the right, then back, nine o'clock, one foot to the left, and then back. Let's do it again. 12, three, nine, six, either leg, 12. How's your torso doing? I can't see everyone. Six, nine, three. Okay, we're gonna get fancy just a little bit. Two o'clock. Find it, seven o'clock, 10 o'clock. Very nice, and then stand tall and then relax. So what's happening there? Why do I do that exercise? First of all, it's very entertaining to me to watch you guys do it. No, that's not the reason. Because A, it's great for balancing. When you stick this leg out there in between, you're balancing. B, you're standing on a strong leg. C, you gotta use your mind. And D, you know, right, it's that challenging the mind. And D, eventually, not today, we're gonna do funnier things, if that's a word, yeah, funner, funner things, where I'm not gonna say 10 o'clock, I'm gonna say 10.30. I'm gonna say 8.45, and you're gonna have to find that spot on the floor. So we're challenging the mind to do all these great, great things to keep the brain getting larger and larger, while the body is benefiting in a very safe environment. Okay, let's do um, preparation for some Tai Chi. So let's work on our front stance and our back stance. Let's have our right leg forward, left leg is back. Left leg's at a slight 45 degree angle. Right leg is pointed perfectly, perfectly towards the camera. None of this stuff, none of this stuff. It's gotta be right so perfect, especially since I'm not in that room with you. Have to make sure you're doing it perfect so that you're safe. This back leg, make sure you're not over here, crossed over, okay? And arms are apart for balance, so just bend the front knee, and then come back, and then sh turn your torso to the left, and that back knee bends a little bit. And then turn your torso to the front, lead with the sternum bone, and then slowly shift back and turn your torso to the left and then come back to the front again, one front stance. Let's take the left hand, put it on top. We got our crystal ball out. And then slowly shift back and turn your torso to the left. 
And then while you do that, then rotate the ball. Rotate the ball. So now you have your right hand on top. Beautiful. And then shift forward. Nice, Susan. Nice, Mr. Wolf. That must be Dean. And then when you get to the front, rotate the ball. Hi, Dean. Hi, Susan. I figured that out by myself. And then shift back and then turn the torso to the left and then softly and gently rotate the ball. Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. And then bring it to the front. Good. And then relax the arms and that's switch legs. Now I have my left foot perfectly, perfectly towards the camera. My right foot's at a 45 degree angle. I don't want my right foot like this. I don't want this stuff over here and I definitely don't want this. So it's just got to be in just slightly. And when we do this, this back leg never comes up off the floor like that. No, we keep it rock solid. In fact, when I come forward, that back heel goes into the floor even more. I have to emphasize it even more. Okay, arms come apart, front stance. Just All you gotta do is just bend the front knee, nothing more. We're not doing this either. And then back stance, just bend the back knee and turn your torso. And then slowly bend the front knee and then shift back, and then turn your torso. Soft and slow, that's how we learn. And then come to the front. This time bring your right hand on top, left on the bottom, soft. Shift back, turn the torso to the right, and then rotate the ball without dropping it. Don't drop the ball, no one wants to clean up the ball mess today. And then shift forward. And when you get to the front, just rotate the ball. One more time. And then shift back. Bring the ball to the right, and then rotate the ball, and then shift forward, and then relax. Okay, let's start with repulsing the monkey.